Om Shanti, today is the 76th day of your beautiful meditative Vardhan. A Vardhan which actually tells you how to bring peace to your mind and how to remove the tensions in your mind. What exactly is tension? When you pull something for a very long time, like a rubber band, you pull it, pull it, pull it, it's going to snap. Similarly, people go into depression or they go into any kind of worse situation or sadness or irritation or frustration in the mind. When they pull along a lot of thoughts of the past or how bad the things are, how bad the person is in their life and they keep on thinking and pondering over those things. It's like stretching a rubber band for a very long time. You keep on stretching it, stretching it, stretching it. Your thoughts keep on getting stretched and they go into so many different angles about a person or a situation or a thing that at the end your mind cannot take it and you snap. You go into depression, right? So Baba over here explains us how to come out of it and understand that when we come out of it, only then we can help others to come out of it. So let's go ahead and let's understand what is Baba's Mahavakya over here. Baba says, may you pay attention to your own tension, your own thoughts. And then finish the tension of the world as a world transformer or a benefactor. So let's go into depth. When you pay greater attention to others, that's what we do throughout the day. He's like this, she's like this, they shouldn't have done this. See what is happening in their house. Why is she like this? Why is their Bahurani like this? Why is their husband like this? Why is the father or the mother like this? Look at the children, how they are. They shouldn't do this. They shouldn't should do that. When we're looking at other people or the world or the complete government system or the political system, everything, we can only find faults. There's nothing pure in that, right? And that's where you increase your tension to be very factual and to be very upfront. So Baba always says that pay attention to those tensions which you are creating in your mind first. Remove them. How do we do that? Let's see. When you pay greater attention to others, you create tension in yourself. So instead of creating expansion of thoughts becomes stable in the form of the essence. What is the essence? Baba has explained in Brahma Kumari is that every soul has got a fixed part. Anybody doing bad is supposed to do bad. Anybody doing good is supposed to do good. You are nobody to change them. You can change yourself only. You can look at yourself and stop thinking about them. Stop complaining about them and make yourself peaceful. Ignorance is bliss for sure. That's very true. Ignorance means what? Ignoring what others are doing is very, very crucial because the law, fundamental law says, as one does in the karma, so shall one reap, whether it's your own brother or your sister or your father or your mother. You cannot change them by telling them what to do. They have to experience, they have to come in the right direction. The whole world has to learn through that. Yes, you can become a beacon of light when they come and ask you, how should I do the right things? But if you keep on telling them, they will not understand it. It is your duty to tell them what is right, what is wrong, but to get after them and keep on checking them every time what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong, makes you go into expansion of thoughts and you become peaceless yourself. So stop doing that. Focus on yourself. So then Baba says, so instead of creating expansion, become stable in the form of the essence. Essence is, I'm a point of light, I'm God's child, I have to think about my karmas because I have to go alone, I have come alone. Nobody is going to take care of my karmas. Nobody is going to be answerable for my karmas. I have to be answerable for my own karmas. So am I pure enough inside? Do I have duality inside? Am I thinking right? Am I speaking right? Am I doing right? Are they in tandem or not? That's what I have to check on a daily basis. So instead of creating expansion, become stable in the form of the essence. This is the essence. Merge thoughts of quantity and have thoughts of quality. When we know from God the Father that the world is coming to a transformation, the whole world is going through a huge transformation, people have become very sinful, we know that very well. So why should we look at their sins? Why should we actually contemplate on their sins? Why should we meditate on their sins or what they're doing right or wrong? No. We have to meditate on our own thoughts, our own karmas. And we know that the essence is that this world is going to teach everybody a lesson. Whether people are going to feel that lesson through their ailments and their body diseases, whether people are going to feel that through loss of property, loss of loved ones, and many other things which is going to come to them and bite back. So when we know that, that's the essence. Why do we worry about it then? 
who are we? We are not the lawgivers. We are not the one who are going to punish others. We cannot do that. So Baba says, first of all, pay attention to your own tension, which you're creating in your thoughts by focusing on others. You will then be able to finish all the many types of tension in the world only then and become a world benefactor. First of all, look at your own self. In meditation, we look at our own self. We focus our mind back to ourselves. The whole practice of looking at others, focusing on others or competing with others or comparing yourself with others is actually going into non-qualitative or into quantity of thoughts which brings a lot of depression, a lot of uh, sadness, a lot of frustration in you. Stop doing that. Focus on yourself. Whenever the thoughts go outside, tell your mind, child, focus back onto yourself. What is going on in your thoughts? How pure are your thoughts? So Baba then says, first of all, look at your own self. Self-service is first. Self-service means I am a thinking pure thoughts. Am I a well-wisher for others? Or am I taking out nooks and corners into everybody's actions? Am I taking out many faults in other people? Or am I somebody who is seeing other people making faults, but at the same time praying for them and at the same time respecting them and at the same time having good wishes for them that may they find the right path. Instead of worrying about them or correcting them every single time or contemplating about them, that's going to make you peaceless. So then Baba says, first of all, look at your own self, self-services first. When you serve yourself, others will then automatically be served because you're going to be peaceful. When you're peaceful, people will come to you, they'll ask you, how come you are peaceful? Then you can tell them this method. So with this, I'll leave you and I'll see you tomorrow again. Om Shanti. Thank you.